What could be better than a fish that's supremely active under the ice, grows large, fights hard, and lives in spectacular surroundings? Lake trout are indeed an adventure waiting to happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, the trout, I'm not sure. It's gotta be, it's up high. Huh. <clears throat> there we go. Now it's acting like a trout. <laughs> it's only 15 feet down though. You know, as far as I'm concerned, late ice like this, almost end of the season coming, this is an absolute adventure for me because I love lake trout, I love the wilderness. So it doesn't get any better than this. Beautiful day like this in the springtime. This is the first, no this isn't the I was thinking this was the first day of spring. No, 16, 20 is the first day. Next week, yeah. I don't know to be honest. Well this is 17, so this is St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yes. That's what it is. We got it right now. We got a green lake trout. And I was just talking about this probably being, this being a, <clears throat> you know, the ice is going to go out early this year, so this is the last time I'm going to get fish for lake trout. Big adventure. It won't be until next year that we get to do this again. Fish hit that tube jig? Yeah. That's just a, a real long-standing tradition. We've been fishing those for about 20 years, and they work pretty much every place. And how deep was he, Doug? 10 feet down, you know, 10 feet down over 70 here. You can't start there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish, Douglas. Oh, that is a big fish, man. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice. <laughs> beautiful. Huh? Isn't that oh, gorgeous? Beautiful. They are incredible. Man, oh, man. Here, hold this tail here one sec. There you go. Get that out of there. I don't have a bar, but I'm not fishing. Even there, it came out easily. Yeah. Right, there it is. There you go. Huh? That's magnificent. Yep. 16, 17, 16. Yeah, beautiful fish. Pretty. Everyone is a character. Yeah. <laughs> and so many of them have the, the fin. Yes. Problem like that here. But Well, let's put her back, I guess. Pretty fish. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and they yeah. have, you know, we've been, we were here two months ago and caught some fish, but they put on some weight. Yes. Uh-huh. That was nice. Yeah, and Tom, you don't get the lake trout fish too often, do you? No, I don't. We've got just a few lakes there in southern Wisconsin with a lake trout population, but generally they don't get this big, so this is a pretty exciting opportunity. Yeah, this is great territory. Mm -hmm. And how many lakes, like in Sunset Country, which, we're, you know, we're fishing out of Kenora, well, uh, but, you know, even in a hundred mile radius. You know, we, we actually have the largest concentration of lake trout lakes in the world here. I, I believe we have two, two thirds of the, wor the world's lake trout lakes. And between Kenora here and Thunder Bay, which is about uh, three, four hundred miles to the east of us, we have 100,000 water bodies. So there's actually more water than land. Yeah, and so if you talk wilderness adventure, this is where you go. <laughs> yeah. It sure is. <laughs> and, well, See what happens here. Good, good. Nice good fish, Doug. You broke the ice. Yep. <laughs> so we're playing the game just like we always play the game. We've got our electronics, which is showing us not only the bottom, it's showing us bait fish, and it's showing us the lake trout when they come through. I can also see my jig in relationship to everything that's happening on the screen. So we're always playing this electronics game, and it doesn't make any difference if we're fishing for lake trout, if we're fishing for walleyes. But if you've been watching, Ice Fishing Guide Television uh, before, you know this already, but this is how we play the game, in the, whether we're in the wilderness or whether we're at, in, on a lake close to home. So, and this tube jig has been phenomenal just about every place that we have fished. And there's a variety of them that we use, from the Northland Slurpees jigs to uh, the straight original, you know, gets it like tubes, which is, uh, you know, can be very good. That's actually the one that I caught the fish on there. Just typically a quarter ounce head, a jig head inserted in the tube, or maybe as big as a three eighths ounce head. And typically we are fishing anywhere from 10 down to 40 feet, but oftentimes over much deeper water. These fish tend to ride up higher in a lot of these shield lakes. 